Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da habita fillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hayyakum Allah jami'an. A question was asked, Jazakum Allah khairan ya akhi kareem. After watching this video, I just realized I have not been performing ablution properly. Alhamdulillah. I came across this video and watched it now. Now I know how to perform ablution properly. Thank you so much. Barakallah fiq. Ya Akhi Karim. I use the same water to wipe over my head and not clean water. Is my prayer valid? I didn't know, so am I excused? And is my prayer valid? And the second mistake I made in wudu is I have not been using the left hand to blow out the water from my nose. So again, is my prayer valid? And am I excused because of ignorance? So... In fact, these Masail, there, there's many uh, detailed issues with regards to uh, these Masail, so these issues. Uh, in short, your wudu is valid, and the scholars differ, so there's Mas'alatain here. There's two issues that we want to quickly talk about. The first issue you said... I use the same water to wipe over my head and not clean water. Or meaning, uh, what what you mean, I believe, is not new water. So that you use the water you, uh, after washing your face, your hands were wet, uh, or uh, after washing your, your, your limbs, and then you wiped over your head without getting new fresh water. And so... Uh, the scholars, Jamhur ulama, so we'll read a, a very quickly a, a statement, and this is an issue off of this issue. Waruya uh, an ibn Majishun an huqal ida nafda al ma masha rasuhu bi balalin lahiyatihi bi balalin lahiyatihi, wuhu ikhtiyar ibn Habib wal Malik wa Shafi'i. So basically, uh, Ibn Majishun, who is a, uh, a great Maliki scholar, uh, he, uh, it is narrated on him that he said, if you run out of water from wiping, uh, you know, not having enough water uh, after uh, wiping the face, you know, so he's talking about the beard here. So if someone, they, they've washed their face and, you know, يخلل his lahya, that if there doesn't remain, he doesn't have enough water to do that and, uh, and wipe over his head, then it is the view of Imam Malik and uh, Ibn Habib and Imam Shafi'i that, uh, you know, that he doesn't have to renew the water that he did not have to get new water because he didn't have what was sufficient to perform all those acts of wudu with new water okay this goal the jamhur ulama the majority of the ulama have the view that you should use new water and this is what imam fozan was pointing out in the video that we when we're uh i believe it was the uh the dars uh, going through the fiqh of Tahara and, will, and uh, Salat uh, from Imam Fozan's book, Malachis Fiqiyya. And so this is what he is pointing out and what he means by using, uh, by, you know, using the same, uh, or using new water for, the, for, the, for wiping that. And the reason the, the Jamhur Ulama, they have this view is because that the ra'as, the head, uh, wiping the head, since it's mentioned uh, in the in the ayah as a separate uh, body part for wudu or a separate thing that should be washed in wudu, and for other reasons, that they they hold that it should be done with fresh water, and that this is a part of the order. Of doing things in wudu, so this is in the case of there not being enough. So as far as the validity, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, but I, there is no harm in what you are doing, but this is the correct way, meaning that your wudu, especially you didn't know, uh, is valid. And again, scholars, there's some ikhtilaf there, so there, it's not a problem about the validity of your prayer. <clears throat> the second mas'ala you mentioned uh, about the left hand to blow out the water. I have not come across any uh, specific evidence for using the left to make istinthar, it's called, to, to blow out the water. And I believe, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, the reason that the, uh, the scholars that mention blowing out with the left hand is because from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu and the general adilla. For example, the uh, the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, where she said, كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ يُعَجِّبُهُ التَّيَمَّنُ فِي تَنَعُلِهِ وَتُرُجُولِهِ وَتُهُورِهِ وَفِي شَأْنِهِ كُلِّهِ And this is a hadith we, we went over in the other lesson. And that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to use the right for combing his hair, for putting on his sandals. You know, he began with the right. Uh, and for uh, tahara, for you know, for for wudu, and in all of his affairs, and so the scholars mentioned that all of his affairs that dealt with uh, good things and things that had to do with uh, honorable things, if you will, cleanliness and honor. But cleansing yourself from you know najasa, from filth and so forth, we use the left. So with that being the case, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows best, blowing out. That which is, um, you know, blowing out mucus, basically, and whatever is collected in your nose is is something which is a uh, a type of uh, something which is not considered clean, I guess you might say, or uh, so. So using the left. OK, so because it's not a it's not something you would use your right, which you use for the beginning, the the good things, you know, sh and shaking people's hands and things like this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. So with that being the case, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, there's no harm in your wudus that you made, and even if you forgot. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.